Welcome back everybody to episode 2 of day number 5. Um, I went down, I followed this road south and I did, I found a little greenhouse here and I was, uh, well, the house like mine. And I think I'm right, the houses with the, the houses like mine with the green roof and the cobblestone, they have the forges in them whereas the other ones won't. And I came back up that road and, uh, I didn't find anything in that bookshelf. So I came back up that road and I'm now going uh, north on this little road that I happen to not see. That's the first dog I've seen. Two shots. I'll take his hide. Day five and I'm seeing dogs, huh? I don't even know what that could be used for. This does not exactly bode well for me. Seeing dogs. I have to be careful with my shots when it comes to them because of my reload times. Because I don't have a shotgun book yet, I don't have a shotgun. So I can't necessarily. I'll leave that there. Oh, that looked like a mattress. You know, it is noon, and I'm pretty sure I won't see an airdrop. I guess I'll head this way and see where this road leads. I hate that whole walking in circles thing. Hit him. Or her. Oh, she's dead. I've been searching the cars and the garbage is where I've gotten a lot of the stuff I have right now. A lot of the junk. <laughs> kind of hoping this kind of swings back around towards the house some. But also kind of hoping it leads me more towards a town. Because I can start moving back towards the house around 16, I think. Because I'm not that far away. This road might well join up with that one, which would be okay. Okay, so what's spawning in up here for me to be down at that low of frames?
Get over here. Come on. Was this thing got no range? Hello. I love when they do that. All right, so the machete is a good weapon, but you can't make them. Which kind of makes them stink some. I think by moving around this much, I might be able to keep that heat map off of that area. Because I'm only there for you, pretty much the night time. Which would be a good thing. So I can heat, keep the heat map, off, heat map off that area. Then I can keep the screamer away from me. Well, there's a few cars around here. Might be a town show going up soon. Trying to figure out the signs of when a town's going to show up, you know? <laughs> Her head exploded. Also, I do have three things of arrows in my inventory, but and that's why I'm using my bow so much. This might not partner up with that. Gloves. Hey, those are better than what I'm having. I have a purple one. I have a blue one. All right, let's see if I can show you that glitch. See how there's five there? Here, I'll get out of it. There's five there. There's still five there, but I got the two to fill this up. Like, I wonder if I could do that with my water bottles. You know. Guess because it has to be like near the cat, over the cat. That that must be how it works. My cat's sleeping on my lap, and his leg keeps twitching. It's kind of funny. Get me off. Oh my god, there's another car here, isn't there? No, really? What the deuce was I stuck on? Wow, look at this hill. See, I don't mind these cliffs because these ones have a way to get around, but the ones in the, the world with the 
Knock out Palooza World? It was starting to become no way around them. It just got really bad. And, I mean, everyone kept falling through the world. I don't know what happened to that world. I think what caused it was I, I had it when uh, Alpha 13 came out. And it went through a few updates. Which caused the issue. Which, in that case, is completely understandable. <gasps> It just got annoying, so I just decided it, it was time for it to go. Is there no clear indication of when a town's going to show up? Whew. Yeah, that was like a hiccup or something. You can actually jump pretty far in this game. I'm, I'm kind of wanting to test how far you can actually jump. You know what I mean? Because then I can actually, I can, I can figure out what I want to do with my some stuff. You know what I mean? I have some really cool ideas, but I need to know how far and how far and up you can jump. Okay, you don't want me to sneak attack you? You're dead. My cat's unhappy with me. I just had to straighten out my other leg. Which woke him up. That usually means a town. I am nowhere near zero zero. I know for a fact that when there's a shopping cart in the street, I almost always find a town not far down the road. Or usually I've just left the town. But this world, I don't know. You know, I don't mind this biome even though it's in the 30s. Oh, there's a cliff. I guarantee the road runs right into it, doesn't it? Yep. Hey, look at all that ore. Alright, well, I guess it's time to head home. I'm going to follow the road back down because I know this is a pretty hilly area and then I'm going to shoot across. Wait a second, there's a split that I didn't even notice. Still got some time to kill, I guess. We'll go this way for a little bit, then we'll head, change course and head southeast.
Doesn't look like anything's gonna come in over there. So now we cut cross country. <sighs> this would be the point to change my walk to enter. So I could just put my little weights on my enter key. And just have it walk. It's what I do when I'm uh, punching, punching into something. I just put my uh, my uh, my primary action key to my enter key, and just put weights on it so it holds it down, so it'll just punch away for me. Getting me back home. I'm just picking this axe right at a level like scrap. I think I'm gonna waste a few episodes, just uh, or a few, a few game days, just um. Uh, Working on my my smithing skill for like miscellaneous items or whatever. Save you guys some trouble just watching me run around, so I can I can uh, I can like actually go and mine and stuff like that, and you guys won't have to see the process of how I get to that. Because it I, it does take a while, even though it's a uh, simple process it, it takes a while so I know it's not gonna I'm not the most interesting person to watch on a good day so two and a half kilometers I can make that easy I just need to get my stamina all the way back up and I can run about 1.5 of that I see a building right there or am I crazy? I see a, a green little house. Really? I ran right past this. These things are great. If I go in this front, this window, and I see a forge, this will be the fourth green, green roofed house in this world. That has a forge. So we're gonna check this bookshelf because that's the important thing. Pistol book. I read that. See if it helps my skill at all. Yep, another forge. So that's what it is. The ho the the fancy like houses that sit off nowhere with the cobblestone and the green roofs. They uh Where the heck is the road? Oh. This way. Yeah, that might have been the only one, though, because that road wasn't very long. A little path. We're heading this way. Yeah, that's one I was just getting. Okay. Yeah, so those ones right there have the forges inside of them. So those of you that watch media as well, you could tweet to him and let him know about that. And that might help him out, like, if he's out on the road. You know, and he's wanting to make another home, and he finds one of them. He knows there's a forge inside of it all the time. Because I always forget to, to do what I'm gonna do, which is usually when I'm gonna like 
say do something important like that. All right, it's back at the 20 minute mark, so this episode's gonna be over soon. So just like last episode, because I'm pretty sure audio still cuts out. I'm gonna do my outro here and hope that you guys are still watching by this point. For those of you that are, thank you very much for watching. That helped, that's awesome. And if you like this, please leave a like down below and go check out my other stuff. I play a lot of different games and I try to play suggestions. If you suggest a game down in the comments, I'll try and get to it. Or I'll try and get it, I should say. And if you like my other stuff, please subscribe to the channel. It helps out more than you know. And every new subscriber is just as appreciated as every single like. And if you guys have any advice on this game, anything that I don't know about, which is probably a lot. Granted, I have multiple worlds with multiple days. So, but if you guys can think of anything that you'd like me to know or, like, or any build you'd like to see me try and do for this, like a uh, building build or whatever. Uh, structural build, I guess I should say, traps or anything like that, let me know and I'll try it out. Because I'm, uh, I got a few ideas of my own and if you guys got any ideas that are, you know, similar to mine, it'll make me want to, it'll make me get on that faster, so. You know, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you all in the next episode. And this video's not going to end here. Uh, I'm going to run for a little bit longer. See if I find, you know, in case I find anything good out here. And I hope you guys continue to watch. And I hope you guys keep coming back and watch more of my stuff. I really I really enjoy seeing uh, seeing, you know, I, I, I tend to see between five and ten views on all my seven days videos. And I, I like I like that I'm not gonna lie, I'd, I'd really like that number to climb. But I, I like to I like seeing that because that usually that pretty much tells me that it's the same you know, it's pretty much the same five or ten people coming back every time and watching my videos which makes me feel good so thank you guys very much for watching and I know I don't talk much during my videos but when I was younger I pretty much always played games by myself and even now I tend to play games just by myself so talking during video gaming Tends to just kind of not happen with me. But I'm, I'm trying to get better at it. I'm trying to get... I'm trying to talk to you guys more. And when it comes to this or Minecraft, I tend to talk about how much I've been talking through these videos. But if it comes to like a game like uh, Call of Duty or whatever, I'm almost dead silent the whole time. Unless I'm yelling at myself about something. Hey, this is this road right here. Take this road almost all the way back to the house. I guess I'll explore this road next. The next road I explore. No. Sorry, um, one of our other cats wants to come in the room, and he's been being very rude to Thumbs recently, and did that guy just die? I 
I hit him. And I don't want him to come in here and, you know, ruin some of the sanctuary, basically. Okay, this thing is really good at uh, dismembering zombies. And we'll, we're going to find out this guy that just died because I have searched every zombie I killed. And... No. Apparently I had killed this guy a while ago and he just dropped dead on my screen. But that's weird because I've searched... And I know I've been on that road. I went on that road to go up there. It's weird that he didn't disappear or anything. Unless that was a glitch. I don't know if I said it, but I have the loot respawn to 30 days. Primarily to make it to where I go farther out and search you know so I can't get super comfortable in my little area you know every 10 days I go back and forth to that town yada yada you know every 30 days the loot will respawn so it'll take me a long time to actually get you know the loot to come back so I can probably go back and forth between that town twice in a day and uh I think that is a good enough amount per day to be able to go back to it. But what I'll do is I'll mark the first, the the last day I go to it and I completely clear it out that day. I'll mark that as the uh, first day, you know. Look, we're back before six or back before seventeen. I'm actually surprised by it. We went pretty far. A couple of kilometers. That's a pretty long distance. This is a gigabyte long video. Wow. Half an hour is a gig now. Must mean it's been recording at a better uh, frame rate or something because my. I almost fell in this cave. that I believe I knew was there. I did know that cave was there. I just forgot about it. And I haven't ran on this side of it yet. But, um... My Left 4 Dead videos end up being 2 gigs for half an hour. So, and that records at... Oh, 15 frames? Almost constantly? But it's all on higher quality. So this must be recording better than it used to or something. Is that hunger? Yeah, we'll eat one of those. Why not? But when I do my, uh, when I put my intro on it, it will cut the video. See, I have the corn right there. I have four, both on the exactly on the same the same on each side. I'm gonna show you guys something Sin hates, and I think it's funny.